To make salt dough, you need three ingredients. You need plain flour, you need salt, obviously, salt dough, and you need some water. Now, I've got a really little dinky cup here, and the reason I bought this little cup is because people often say, how much is a cup? Is it, you know, in, in English measures or in European measures or whatever? It doesn't matter. It's about the relative size. So I could have a small cup or I could have a big cup or I could have a big bowl. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to do a little cup now because I just want to very quickly show you a pro project and also want to show you how quick it is to make salt dough. So you take your little cup and it's going to disappear from the screen as I pop it in the flour. So I'm getting my first cup full of flour. So that's one cup. Good, that empty bowl's looking very boring. Yes, <laughs> now it's going to disappear again. <laughs> a second cup, so literally I'm just popping it in the um, flour bag and filling it up to the top. Ooh, two cups, that's the first one. Then I get my salt, just ordinary table salt, buy the cheapest you can find in the supermarket, because obviously you're not going to use it for eating or anything. Again, fill up your cup. Pop it in. And then lastly, you need your water. Now I'm gonna, you could just leave it in there obviously, but you do want to measure it. Because the thing with salt dough is if you get it too wet, it's really difficult to work with. And also um, when you dry it, it's starting to, it can really spread and then you, you lose the shape of what you've made. I'm not actually gonna put the whole cup in, I'm gonna do about half, or even less actually, a third. And then basically I just like to mix it up as I go along. Now. Earlier on, you might have seen these really colourful salt dough items. If you're doing those, you also would add some colour, some pa either paint or food colouring or, or you know any, anything you've got at home. You, so if you just have to experiment a little bit. Some things work better than other things. But again, if you're, for example, using paint, which I have done in the past, um, you know make sure you use a little bit less water as well because otherwise it will get too so soggy. And also, if you have got it too soggy, you know don't worry, just add a bit more flour to kind of sort of you know, de de wet it, make it a bit no, more solid. I, does some people put oil in salt dough? I think they do, I have to say, and I don't know why. I think it just makes it smoother to handle, maybe. Um, I think they might put like a teaspoon in or something, but again, I've never done it, and I just like, you know, I like to keep things simple. Yeah. The less ingredients, the better, really, isn't it? Um, there's lots of variations on salt dough, so I'm almost there, so you can see. It's one way to clean your fingernails, isn't it? <laughs> What are you trying to say, Ali? <laughs> they need Those it. crafty hmm. fingernails. Probably. Right, so this is getting a bit, you can see now, it's still a bit crumbly, so I might need a tiny bit extra. And if I'm doing this with my younger kids, older kids, they can actually make the salt dough themselves. Um, if you're doing it with younger kids, I kind of tend to prepare it for our crafty session, because I always find young children are like, I want to do it now, I want to do it yeah. now. Or, I don't want to put my hands in there. <laughs> Is that as well. Well, but having said that, this is really good kind of like, is it gross motor skills? Fine yeah. motor skills? Fine motor skills, because you're kind of like strengthening your fingers as you mix the dough. Very yogic. Oh, there we go. Almost there. That's actually quite a good sized dough. Now, as to storing your salt dough, you don't have to all use it up in one day. I tend to wrap it in cling film and pop it in the fridge. I don't think it even has to go in the fridge. I just kind of do for sort of extra... I don't know, freshness. And the one we did in the summer, we did some of this, it kind of lasted a good three months. It's not as good as when it's fresh, obviously. Where were you keeping it all that but time? It does like in the fridge. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it does, in, in, a, in a Tupperware, all wrapped up in the fridge, and it just kind of, you know, worked fine. Excellent. And this one's quite a dry one, but to be honest, I think dry is better, because then when it's drying either naturally or in the oven, it doesn't um, spread as much. So there we go, here's your basic salt dough. Fab. So I wanted to show you one quick craft with it, which is one of these, but a simpler one of these. So just take a lump. This is so good for little children. They love this because they can knead it and mash it and, you know, and then learn about creating shapes. So to make a nice ball, they have to do this and roll it around. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, it can just be any shape, especially for the little ones. And then you take your tea light Push it in. There we go. Oh, you can see that mine's a bit crumbly, so you just have to maybe you can smooth it down with a bit of water. You know, and that's your basic sort of Diwali or Christmas tea light. You can add paint or colour it later. And then with this one, for example, what my children love doing is 
but this one uh, doesn't mean you can put it in the oven then, but what my children love doing. So once I've done that, yeah, I don't know about you, but we've got lots of these hammer beads, perler beads in the US. Lots of them. Yeah, shove them all in. And then it kind of instantly, you've got some colour. And it's bejeweled. And it's bejeweled. Obviously they like using other jewels as well. And then, so to dry, um, you can either, especially if you're using perler beads and you don't want them to melt, you probably wouldn't want to put this in the oven. Mm, that could be an interesting Having experiment. said that, I will put it in the oven because I'm curious to see whether the 50 degrees will be too hot for them to pop. But um, you can just let it dry now. It will take a few days. I mean, that's the thing about salt dough. It does take a while and I often hear people say, oh, but my salt dough never got dry or it got mouldy or whatever. It needs to dry properly. And if you are putting it away for Christmas, if you've done Christmas decorations, they have to be fully dry before you put them away. Or if you do, when you do put them away, make sure they're stored, you know, they don't get damp or anything, because they can get mouldy, because, you know, it's essentially a bit like a bread dough, isn't it? So there you go, you have a super... Oh, and then you pop it on something where it won't stick. Really simple. Either oh. Christmas light or Diwali light, depending on how you see it. There you go. That's just That's a done. Board. There we go. Wonderful. Isn't that sweet? Very pretty. Very simple. Yes, and the kids love this. Anyway, hope to see you soon and don't forget to subscribe to Red Ted Art. Bye bye.